So, welcome to Tales from Pitfall Season 2. Uh, series 2? I have Season... I, I, either way, it's, it's Season 2 on the, the overlay. There's the Series 0 prologue, and then there's Series 0, and then there's Series 1, and now we're on Series 2. But I've called it Season 2 on the overlay already. It's fine. But on Twitch, it's, it's Series season. 2. Either way. Check out the, the Season 2 pre-5-minute show that we didn't record on our page. So we forgot to go live? Yeah, there has to be a wiki. We're just trying to force our one fan to make a wiki to keep yes. track. <laughs> Um, What's funny is I see one person that is, that is viewing, and I think that person is me. So. I am you doing. You need to start the wiki. Yeah, that's all that needs to happen. I mean, the, in in our game, it's we're, we have enough handouts now that there's effectively a wiki. Um, that was that, that was the plan, though, right? That was, yes. the, that was the goal. Yes. Um. So we are playing the gold hack. Another. Mercy already said it. Do you want to just say it again, but actually people can hear it now? <laughs> sure. We're playing it again, but live. Which is basically uh, another version of Burning Wheel condensed down to, you know, a 16-page game. This one made by Martin Van Hoot, though again, I have no idea how to actually pronounce the name. My apologies. Uh, so, very similar to Hot Circle, I think, but through the read-through, at least, if not the playthrough, it's a little bit more focused on skills, a little bit more of leveling up, and less Fate baby. Persona might be less of a thing, because you don't need those to do the leveling up. Uh, still very focused on beliefs, traits, goals, and basically what drama can we stir up between these players, which should be a lot of fun. Exactly. So I think we're starting with character creation. Yep. Yes. So this will be at least a session. It's probably a session zero point five because I don't imagine it will take that. Yeah, long it's still a short characters. game, but uh, it was hot circles. Character creation is just like write a few sentences, not really like make any choices. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of choices for uh, gold hack, but they're still pretty simple and easily laid out. They're very intuitive. Um. Yeah, I guess the one other thing we should probably mention is we're still working in the same setting as we have been for the last little while, so... Yeah, one Might not fit for hard. this at all. Not at all medieval. <laughs> I don't know if it's fit for anything, honestly. No, that's the point I'm making, though. It's not, um... We made a mess of it. I am proud we of made... our mess, honestly. We made, like, you know those games that have like the different shaped holes and you're supposed to put, like, the round shape in the round hole? We made a shape that cannot fit in any hole, and we just jam it in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every time. Need. He's like, it's a star, but that fits round. I don't even... Mm -hmm. Seven-pointed star, and there's only a five-pointed star hole, so we've taken a very large mallet and have started <laughs> exactly. trying the other ones. <laughs> like, that's too... Any normal shape we know is too uniform. Ours is just if you gave a toddler a crayon and then made a shape out of whatever they drew. It's a, the analogy is falling apart, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did not make an easy one to do. So the very first thing that apparently we have to do is, you know, state the situation. So in this world that makes absolutely no sense, and I don't think we're going to be able to go over don't, it doesn't, it's fine. every part of it at this point, <laughs> the situation fine. is going to be, we have a new set of people from, we have the reveal of a new pod, we have a new set of pod people showing up in this city. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I think we've got some basic character stuff done right now, but I guess we'll get, do some intros a little bit later. But the very next thing that we're doing is pretty much picking how old are you all? I was hoping to do kind of a, hey, let's get some more life paths in this game, because normally in Burning Wheel or other hacks, that would make you way too powerful. So I figured, hey, if we're doing a short game, let's mm -hmm. have a chance to do that. So I've basically specified, please be adult or older. Though, oddly enough, uh, older is apparently more than 40, which is what makes you an elder. So, sorry for everyone older than 40 out there. <laughs> yep, apparently you're now elderly, and... I'm past middle-aged. <laughs> yep. We are all just reaching... We are, we are just... It's all downhill from here. <laughs> We're all just shuffling toward the grave. Yep. <laughs> we got a wheelchairs for our 40th birthdays. 
Is Elder really 40? Yep. It's his 40 plus, yeah. Adult uh, is 18 to 40, and Elder is 40 plus. I don't like that. <laughs> it might, yeah, Elder is a word that they might intend it to mean more just like experienced or something. Or it might no, be harking back a little bit more to the medieval things and lifespans being very different then. Mm -hmm. yeah, but those lifespans were skewed by poor people. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, how yeah, dare that, they? <laughs> that was skewed by things That's like... That's not representational. Plague. Yeah. And war. Poor people and aren't representational. Of my point. I my know. point is, medieval lifespan is not a good indication of a medieval elder. Because, yeah, the lifespan was on average 35, 40, but that's because a lot of people, A, died at childbirth, B, got stabbed as a young adult, C, got stabbed as a real adult, <laughs> or yep. got, like, a plague somewhere in there. So it really skews the average down, yeah. but it doesn't really rate lower the bar for elder. Like, yeah. you still have to put in the 60 years of experience to be, like, yeah the, like, sage wise man or whatever. It doesn't matter if... You just have to beat the odds harder. I just don't think you get elder status at forty. You just get yeah. Not you still got. You, you I think I hit retirement age. Yeah, I think all they're saying in this, at least looking at the game, is anything past forty, it's all the same. That's that's what it says. Which I don't agree with, but in the game, that's what it is. You get <laughs> On four the plus life side, for yeah. our game, it means that you can make someone with the maximum amount of life paths without you know, it having Making them, them be being decrepit. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. No, I like if you want to be a suit. That's the thing I like about Burning Wheel, though. If you want to be like, I want all of the life paths, I want to do everything. Well, you're old as dirt. Yeah. <laughs> very curious to see how much those life paths or having those different skills affects things. So. Oh, yeah. um, it looks I... like in this game, ignoring the terminology of the word elder, but the the basic penalty, there is a built-in penalty for doing it. Your potential goes down each step. Yeah, yes. so it's harder to different... learn new skills. So it's a max of Stop. of fate and persona each is basically. Oh. Yeah. So persona, sorry, potential is a maximum amount of fate or persona that you can have. It also depends on uh, your ease of learning new skills, because when you are trying to learn something that you have no skills for, basically what you do is, I set the ob for you. We double that ob, and then you roll your potential. Straight up. Which, in most cases, is going to go not so well for you. But Interesting. Hey. Don't you double your potential, too? Not in this case, no. Oh. But you do automatically learn the skill if you succeed. Oh. Okay. Just auto so there's no, it. like... One succeed is needed. Yeah, you don't need, like, six successes to succeed. I don't think... Exactly. Do we... I think once when playing Burning Wheel in either of the games I've played in, have I successfully learned a skill? I'm not even sure it was me. I think it was just one person in our entire group. Oh, one person in the whole group learned, learned one, one skill. One skill once. At all. So you have to be willing to fail a lot, but if you get lucky and get that success, you've oh, got it. Congrats. That reminds me, did we change the roll back row so it doesn't auto-blow up? Um, I haven't changed the roll macro in like the sheet it's or rather i changed it in the character sheet uh you did change it in the to, character sheet yeah props yeah. to indigo yeah, you thank did. you very much for the basic character sheet it's a really simple thing because i didn't fiddle with it basically it'll ask you how many dice do you want to roll put in a number yeah it will not explode the sixers you do need to do that manually because in this game sixes only explode if you are one rolling magic or two, spending e either the fate or persona that gets that to happen, and I can't remember which. One moment. Now here's a question. Fate blows fate. it up. Fate blows uh, it up. Fate. Persona's a real roll. Or yeah. persona's based... an extra dice, sorry. Based on Indigo's character that he's told us he wants to play, would he have a magic skill or a different no. skill? No, <laughs> no magic skills. <laughs> no magic. I don't know what you're talking Not about. Real no. magic. You're like... <laughs> You're like the card trick magic. Card tricks. Trick rope. Also, uh, like, up my sleeves. <laughs> also, I don't know, when we were talking about the age thing, I just imagined your character being like this 60-year-old year old, like old magician from Vegas who like <laughs> like before the bombs fell went like, oh, I am enough go to 60. go into this I'm bunker. Going, I'll, I'll go 61. <laughs> I was going to go younger, but that's a good point. I should go 61. <laughs> 
you know, it's, I just don't know why my brain went to that. Like, it'd be so funny, like, Fallout yeah, 4. Yeah, like, that this also old works man. Well for, that also works for this, because my potential to learn new skills is at the minimum. So I have no ability to adapt or change to this new world I have been thrown into. <laughs> So one of the big things for this game is, again, there's not really a lot of use uh, hoarding your fate or persona because you have a cap and it's not used for, you know, buffing your or it's used for buffing your rolls. Again, persona will give you an extra die. Fate will give you either exploding sixes or a reroll, but it's not needed to level up. So you'll get it at the end of session and use it. Um, do we want to give just a quick overview of what you guys were thinking of characters before we go into more nitty gritties of life paths? All right, I, I yeah. ask for volunteers. That's 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 fine. <laughs> we can just start building them. Yep, okay. I'm, I've already begun looking at what I'm building. Um, uh, mine is very much dependent on what you two do because I could go one of two ways the character. Oh, I am. What is there a list for character creation? Where do we start? Um, the first thing that we would start is picking, one, how many life paths you have, and then two, what life paths are they, basically? Where did your life go? Yep. So if you look under the life paths, essentially, you pick a category. Uh, they're pretty loose as to what those categories are, and if you want something that you don't think doesn't fit in any of those ad categories, that's fine. Let me know. It, when you pick that category, you get the free skill that it states. If you uh, put two life paths into the same category, you can either put another skill into that first one, instead of start getting it at two, you get it at three, or pick another one of those two other types of skills and just get two in that as well. Uh, there's no limitations. Like, if you take artistic, you can go from artistic to military to noble to broke pauper, though I don't think... Oh, peasant is one. So there's nothing saying it has to go from here to here. Yep. They're a born life path. There is not, but that could be peasant or something. I am starting with city born, and I figure that is outcast, though I considered wilderness. I think it's more like a post apocalyptic society with people. Well, I think we have to start with age first. I'm not really yeah. sure how connected these life paths are to age. Like, if you can say, ah, yes, my life really didn't oh, start until I was the, 20. The yeah. number of life paths. The first decision made is age. That's true. Yeah, that's fair. I am an elder. I am 48 years old, and I have four life paths. Are we, are we, are we both being elders? I don't oh. want to both be elders. <laughs> I mean, we could all just be old people. If we and that was... I was gonna... the you would all be old? Was, the, the intent, intent was... was all elders or adults. Oh, okay. Between the but two yeah. of them. So. I'm My gonna idea... Six, I'm going to be 61. My idea was maybe like being on the edge of elder, like an aqueduct guard is like one thirty nine year from yeah one year from retirement. Yeah. Like I'm too old for this shit. Perfect. But, but you're thirty nine and not a year from retirement. You're still a functioning adult. You What's funny been, is yeah. that would be considered you still have to work for years more until you get stabbed. Yeah. Yep. You're, you're four cycles old when you hit four cycles. Because they wouldn't have years. They'd, they'd probably measure it in, in, yeah, by seasons. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll be the... the... winter pyramid is going to help that for six Oh, months. yeah. Inverse oh, we... <laughs> they they I'm sorry, fucked up yes, their they... own scale of time. <laughs> they will just get told... Like, the, I don't think they... The Frost Shepherds do probably measure it based on the season, but now they probably have, like, each season is this many days thing, like a calendar, I'm guessing. It's probably not something as common as calendars for us, but they probably they have. probably just codified All it. All right, uh, just to clarify for the setting, because there's plenty of these that give you magic as one. Uh, I think for the skills, because magic is a skill category. Yeah. It's, um, I think we can make that a science one. I think for oh, this like that weird, makes the most sense, yeah. Or weird science. So magic, instead of writing science, magic, magic skills like that example list they have, like spell, cast spells, divine, blah blah blah, techno babble fits thing. That fits perfectly okay. for to do it. And, and if we end up... or the non-Newtonian egg thing. Yeah, but it has to be super esoteric because normal Things like I know, like robotics, is not an esoteric skill. That's just no. going to be a craft skill. Yeah, that will be yeah. craft. 
but building a non-robotic computer is esoteric. Yes. Those are of those are yeah. artifacts of myth. Yeah, mad science is the magic skill. So, we, <laughs> but yep. it's not like spell casting. It's mad science. Weakness. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely. I think that clears it up. So yeah, we're all elders, or basically elders. You're gonna be an adult, <laughs> yeah. right? I'll be the I'll be the young one of the group. <laughs> yeah. Testing out the adult life path. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Indigo, we talked about your character a bit. Do you want to mention who they are? Oh so, yeah, I'm going to be a stage magician from the past. <laughs> yep. I wake. I woke in a pod and have all of the badge of have all of the knowledge of um jumping through world. flaming yeah. groups and filling out forms tops of, and tops of smoke and yeah. Yep. How to escape underwater when you know manifold. Mm-hmm. With with seven flautas standing on top of the tank, it's a whole thing. Yep, going over the uh, Niagara Falls in a barrel and surviving. The trick is two barrels; one doesn't fall over at all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, my character is a frost shepherd chaplain of sorts who uh, serves as a spiritual guide to the frost shepherds. So they're we in haven't their 40s. talked about their. We haven't really seen their faith. So yep. No, we have not. Yeah. So I will just be make a bunch of stuff up. We'll see how it goes. Yep. We I have knew some they ideas. Showed up. We because they were looking for the ancients, and we had a bit of splintering faces around the mole people and the tigers and the older people and all. Yeah. Who are the ancients? Right because there's a few potential ancients around here. So my character will be uh, probably having some crises of faith, mm-hmm. of sorts. Um, and then my character is a aqueduct guard, probably like, I don't think the captain, but probably like second in command, right? Like pretty high up, and then like a lieutenant I, or something. Yeah, like a lieutenant, and then I could either go the route of um trying to, you know, uh, I, I said, go with the flow or stop the rising tide. So go with the flow is like, yeah, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll like mesh our religions together, water and frost, or stop the rising tide could be like, hey, what's going on here? I got to stop. Water is the only way, right? See, my personal opinion there, which is not law in any way, shape, or form, is whatever brings the most drama. I have things for, wow, nothing is happening. Let me throw this wrench in your plans. Uh, and I have a couple of starting things to make sure that you actually get together as a group. But past that, I'm going to be attempting to hit all of your buttons mm-hmm. and force you at each other to cause problems. So whatever you think will cause more problems is probably the better option. The Aqua Crusade it is. <laughs> I didn't know they were a religion. Good to know. <laughs> I, I'm making it a religion. Why is everything <laughs> For you. For you it is. <laughs> yeah. Why do we only have cults? I can't be it's to... always cults. <laughs> Listen, this is what happens in the apocalypse, right? Everyone just makes their own cult. I'm going to put that in description, Perfect. Aqua Crusade. So as you're picking life paths, uh, you can pick them with an eye to skill. But just as a quick explanation of what skills work, on the next page, you see skills have uh, the skill, which is kind of a broad heading. And then they have the skill type, which is where you'd say something like crafting is the skill. Crafting uh, fletching arrows is the actual skill type. Uh, So you don't, if you have crafting skills, you don't just are able to craft anything whatsoever. You do pick a specific type. Pick it the other way around. I have multiple different types of crafting skills. I can craft arrows, armor, and this, but that's still three different skills then put into the crafting. Yeah, but I think what you mean is um, all of those are specific skills. Craft, they're all craft type skills. Strangely enough, no. 
skill oh, wait, is the broader heading there's and the, type is the smaller one? There's eight types of skills in the game. No. Well, a skill is a specification. Of a type. In which case, oh, I'm the, wrong and I have that backwards. Thank you. It still works. <laughs> yeah, one no, of those we, we, types. It does still true. make sense. Eight types of skills and you're limited on type if it's the first time you took that life path. So if you take the life path the second time, you open up two more types. Exactly. And also, beyond the skills you get from life paths, you just get skills for starting the game. As an elder, you get six. As an adult, you get five. And as my understanding is you can drop those anywhere you want. So long okay. as you recognize skills do have maximum ratings. Yep. They, well, I think it's adults six. and elders, can't go beyond five. I think it's six total skills. Number of specific right? skill points your character has. Each, according to the starter character creation, no, it says skill points. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yep. So where do you see the character creation start? This is a page it's, uh, three of the burning of the gold hack book. It's it's right under the basic chart. So oh. just just so I could understand. So we have five skill points to put anywhere, and then our three life paths will also give us skill points to specific things listed yeah. in the life path. The life path yep. skills start at two. With, yep. like, exceptions if you double down on life paths. Yep. Which is pretty good. Yep, so we should... What skills are giving so you many skills. how many dice you get to roll. Have yeah. So many, yeah, so many skills. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what my three life paths should be. <laughs> if you have an idea of, I think my story went something like this, what life paths are those? Meh, we can figure that out. Um, yeah, so my character started off Cityborn, so I'll be using an Outcast and getting an Expertise skill, which I'll detail what it is later. That's one example. Okay. Uh, do we think the Before Times my stage magician is from is still kind of sci-fi-y? I think I viewed it as more c as cyberpunk, um, okay. for that flavor That's, of sci-fi. Yeah, cool. So I, my first life path is a noble life path for boarding school. <laughs> nice. And then my second life path is an outcast life path for hover train hopper. Hover train yes. hopper. <laughs> you are a hover train magician robber? Well, no, no. It's, it's the story. So I start by getting sent to boarding school, and then I start hopping hover trains that we get to magician later at the line. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Rebellion in your teenage years. <laughs> okay, I yes. think I have. I think I have to start military because I think that just makes the most sense. But were you like born military when you were a kid? I think yeah, this he... wasn't necessarily born. So you can basically start your life paths at the age of you know fifteen or so when your life is really getting to be your own. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he joined the Aqueduct Guard very early. Okay. Military works. Yep. Okay. I think also in that case, we'll do wilderness. Because he was probably uh, one of the people that would go out and fight cyber tigers. You were a veteran of the cyber tiger war. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I don't think it was a true war, just more um the skirmishes. Conflicts. Yeah. We we call it a uh, crouching cyber tiger hidden aqueduct guard. That's what we call that conflict. <laughs> <laughs> uh um, and then I want to go weird. Let's see. Confidence make, make sense as a skill. Let's see. Um, uh, I'd go influence. Hmm. Influence is a would be the type that something like confidence would be. Um, is fast talk maybe it? If that's right, or 
charm I mean, it, even charm influence charm. charisma yeah but yeah i would say that yeah. that is could be a skill just possibly a different word okay yeah influence confidence is still gonna work uh one more i was thinking expert i was looking for an expertise skill ah as an expertise skill oh okay uh that feels like an influence to me to be honest um because it says influence expertise specifically doesn't cover other stuff. I have an expertise skill and it's scavenging, for example. I was actually going to take that same skill. <laughs> you could. A different one. Welcome to do it. Yeah, we could just learn scavenging from very different uh, things. Oh, I was going to learn scavenging from uh, from hover train hopping. Fair. Nice. Ah, one other thing you should probably know about skills is when we're making rolls, uh, as is somewhat normal for these games, you guys get to set the intent and task. Intent being what are you trying to do. Task being uh, how are you trying to do it. Once you say how you are trying to do it, I as the GM get to pick what skill that falls under. So, uh, you then... And we set the ob. We say what the consequences are for failing the ob. We roll. Okay. But I'm not going to, you know, look at your skills and say, actually, I absolutely don't think it's that. Let's make you roll for new things for no good reason. Okay. The maximum rating for a skill, I'm looking at it now, uh, it only comes into effect during character creation. It says after the game starts, there is no maximum rating limit. Trying to get my life path skills down first before I do my other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my third and final life path is religious, and I immediately thought during the Crouching Cyber Tiger Hidden Aqueduct Guard uh, conflict. Like that. Oh, bad. <laughs> um, I like to imagine he was struck down by a cyber tiger and the rains washed over him and he says it healed him but maybe he just wasn't hurt that bad <laughs> and that's that's where he's like the healing power of water nice well I mean we tried to start a cult in that way back in yeah we did in the setting creation so it just didn't go too well. You're the revival. <laughs> yeah. Or you're, yeah, it, it's not been that long. You're old enough that you might have been around that time, or maybe you were no, the failed this cult starting project. And we we're at like three cycles since there. He would have been like ten. I don't think he was fighting at ten. Three, three cycles? I thought it's been two now. I think it's been. Oh, you're right. Because one was three? during. Yeah. This is the start. Let's see. Start of the third cycle. I think it might be the start of the third cycle, so it's been two cycles, so. maybe. Your revival, your your parent, maybe was uh, the originator there. Mm. Who knows? Could be. This is where I old wish I grandpa had told me stories of the healing rains. Never believed him until they happened to me too. Okay. Uh, okay, and then. And so when do we you have to. Ch Oh, you go first. When we add a, spend a skill point, it just uh, makes it as a level one skill, right? That is correct, yes. Okay. Okay, and then do we have to choose what type the skill is? Yes. Yes. You'll notice in the character sheet, uh, because I had skill and type backwards in my head, you might want to flip those, but essentially... Always need. Why are the roll buttons gone? They're on the right. They're on the far right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it looks good enough. I but the roll buttons are still there. They are still there. <laughs> <laughs> they just got moved. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, no. It needs the skill and the type. Though, admittedly, there's nothing that I can think of where it really, truly matters. Oh, I, I, 
I'm saying them backwards because they were you said they were listed. So if no I have fight, the type is fight, and the skill would be specifically how I fight, right? Yep. Yes. Correct. Okay. But that's because I messed that up. Yep. <laughs> You've got it. And it makes more because it says skills, right? And you get skills in magic or whatever. Skill should be first, and then the type of skill, which is I, I don't know. It make I I see what your brain did because my brain would do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I think what by type it means category because type can both okay. be used for something that groups the things or something that is a is within that thing, and so yeah. Um, so I I I completed my life path. All right, four life paths, four things. I see it. Want to drop yeah. extra any extra skills in? Yeah, I'm thinking about that now. <laughs> That's good. And we get six points. Elders do, yeah, you and I do. Yep. And then uh is gear a thing? Like do we start nope. with some gear? Or do we just there say is... I don't think gear matters, basically. No such thing as gear. Uh yeah, there's no such thing as gear. It's all very story driven when it comes to that. Okay, so we just say, I have this thing, and then unless, like, a consequence will get rid of this thing, you have that thing. Exactly. It's not necessarily going to give you, you know, advantage or disadvantage. I think that it said that there is actually no such thing as advantage or disadvantage for that, so... Uh, having an item is occasionally needed to help yourself heal, or, mm -hmm. like, wow, it doesn't make that you sense that you can climb that cliff without actually having a rope. When did you get a rope? But if it's not interesting, we won't go into it, so. Uh, and then the rating is how many dice you roll? Exactly. Okay. Um... Oh, we, we said the Aqueduct Guard had, like, laser spears, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, made, from the right. made from the laser goats. Yeah, yeah. made from fight <laughs> laser spear. Well, because I I remember because I think I know what you said. They had laser spears from the laser goats. Yeah, right? like, carved from the laser both... the goats' laser horns, I think, or something they, like that. They, <laughs> they are both melee, and you can like shoot them, right? Yup. Oh, like the okay. Wakanda spears a bit. Uh no, what Did am I thinking? Not shoot? appearance. They Hold on. I'm thinking of only uh, shot like a car once or something. You like, know, barely. she chucked their spear at the car. Uh, we may have watched that movie too recently. Yes. <laughs> they have shot energy from the tips of their spears, but it's only been against shields. I'm trying to think if they ever shot anything that wasn't deflected. I don't think so. They just mentioned that you can like kill a tank with them. What did you say the skill to make magic tricks is? Light of hand? Uh, no, 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 that's, that's to perform like, literally. Oh, to craft. Like that yeah, might be. Literally make the things like the wires that string inside your coat, because that's a stage magician skill. Yeah. I could see that as either craft or expertise. Um, Engineering? For expertise, you would need to get the raw materials. Um, but if it was craft, you could probably make it out of raw materials. Does that make sense? For me, it feels like engineering in some ways. Uh, fabrication. I was just going to write it up as a magic skill. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's actually quite reasonable. Yep. It's, it's magic, but it's like magic craft. It is, yeah. Yeah. I have to make the trick. And it, it, it's making... silly. Mm. I, I wrote down trick craft with like a dash in the middle, but I don't know what else to Prop trick making. Trick craft. Yeah, yeah. I also have confidence tricks, not not to be confused with stage magic tricks. Confidence tricks being uh, the thing con men do. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Mm. Um, and then what would we what would we describe our area now for my survival skill? Would it just be like? Winter survival survive winter is that it says a, a specific area, yeah, um, within the city or outside of the city, like the the grasslands or something, because it, it 
Like, meaning yeah, this specific best. area. Yeah. I'd say yeah. winter is actually fairly reasonable in this setting. Well, yeah, but it's not always winter here, and you have always been around here, right? I chose win survival winter for my character because they that was as part of the Frost Shepherds. Um, That's fair. But, yeah. Yeah, I guess survive grassland then. Although we've also established there's a forest not far Could away. Could do, p like, pitfall area, or just keep it something like that? Yeah, I would say uh, that the really big ones are, yeah, the grassland, winter, or the town. Keep it as broadly applicable yeah, as possible. Yeah, grasslands work. Pitfall adjacent. <laughs> Too broad? Nah, pitfall adjacent seems reasonable, I just won't ticket for you're in the city. Ah, you're yeah. next to the city. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. As long as we stay around Pitfall, we're good. Yep. I decide to go trekking all the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have three, three skill points I'm still considering what to do with. I haven't touched my skill points. Oh, I'm on trades. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh... skill list is rhetoric, Inconspicuous, inconspicuous, confidence tricks, stage magic, trift, trick, craft. These are hard words to say. And escape. Nice. And all pretty high with twos and threes. All right. Yeah. Okay. I I took my first influence skill is command because I'm in army, right? But. I feel like I should take another influence skill for like uh, the the word that comes to mind is like proselytizing. Okay. Is that is That's... there a better word for that? Thesaurus. I'm checking. <laughs> Proselytize. Where's the do do ins that trade? Wow. Traits. I misspelled both of those words, thesaurus and proselytizing, so bad that Google gave me no results and couldn't fix it. Oh, cool. Um, does anyone have a stealth skill? I have inconspicuous. Uh, I okay. can take a stealth skill. Because it makes sense for the hidden... That's true. <laughs> does anyone have a medicine from... skill? I might actually I'll probably check a, take a medicine skill for expertise. I if, if I take stealth, I will not be able to take medicine. Okay. I think I'll pick... Preaching, evangelizing, converting, proselytizing. Yeah, I think proselytize is like the perfect word because it's convert or attempt to convert someone from one religion, yeah. belief, or opinion to another. And it is not necessarily negative, it's just nowadays. Yeah. Viewed that way. The word itself is not. I will get, I will put three in proselytizing. <laughs> you're going to be annoying, is what you're getting at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're you're saying both the characters I played were annoying. <laughs> yeah. Uh there's no real guidance on on traits. Uh yeah, no. Let's see what notes did I have. Is Silver traits? Fox an acceptable trait? <laughs> I kind of love I it. I understand what you mean. So to me, sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, one thing that I did notice this game did a little bit less uh, thoroughly than other games is explaining what the belief, goal, traits, instincts, how to make those, what sort of statements are really acceptable. So if I can understand what it is and it's reasonably applicable, sure. Traits, by the way, are one of the only ways that you can add plus one to your dice rolls. So you are limited in how many traits you can pick up at the beginning, by how old you are. Uh, three for adult, four for elder, and basically, if it's applicable, it's plus one die. If it's applicable in a negative way and you don't roleplay it, it's plus one ob. There's actually a lot here to do with, did you roleplay it, or did you ignore it? And if you roleplayed it well, good for you, you get either fate or persona, even if it, if it was negative played it well and was positive, you get plus dice. If you didn't roleplay it, I get to chuck you uh, obstacles. Uh, and then for the the bits, 
I assume it's just one belief, one goal, one instinct, and then the amount of traits we get from our age. Exactly. Uh, instincts are the easiest. There is before, it's an always, never, or if, then. Belief is kind of a broad thing, more so. It's, you know... Dot, dot, dot. Where's my picture of beliefs? Uh, beliefs are ethical or philosophical stances mainly about how the world or people are and how it, how it or they should be. Yeah, kind of a general statement about how the world works. I'm still going to be playing around with those beliefs, though, so please relevant them. And then goal is more directly, I want to achieve this. The one weird thing is that the goal does not have to be directly related to belief. So the belief can be, I believe that rain heals people, and the goal can be, I want to beat the mayor of the town with a pool noodle until I submit. And those don't have to have anything to do with each other. All right, I want... I want to beat the mayor of Pitfall with a pool noodle. <laughs> I am running off of random things and what I see around my house. Oh. Uh, okay, so I could have a belief that is something like, I believe water has magical healing properties. And as long as I try to use water to heal people, we're good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, hold on. I believe... The majority oh. purpose of beliefs are, again, to use them to either get you in trouble or roleplay. They're Got not it. going to give you... Neither beliefs or goals are going to give you any pluses to roleplay. Hold on. I think, I, I think I've think i spotted a problem. Uh, there is a problem. It's the character oh. sheet. Uh -oh. The goal and instincts are the... Like, when I type in the goal... Like, goal. Oh, goal. It yeah, for sure. Oh, I just write, you know, write to Alliance. Yeah, it works for now. Yeah. Oh, uh, did anyone else get traits? Yes, they're yeah. connected. I'm still <laughs> doing beliefs and sync goals right now. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't I... done beliefs and sync and goals yet. Uh, okay. I was going in order. Yeah. Sorry. I have um... my traits, though. I have my four traits. Wait, I have. I just. Oh, I see the issue. Uh, oh. is it beliefs and then goals and then instincts? Um, it is beliefs, goals, instincts, then traits. Is how the book does it. Lays it out. There we go. I, I fixed it here, but I think unless Indigo re-uploads it, we're stuck with this for now. Yeah, we're not gonna upload it right now because I don't want. No worries. Worry about it. Right now. <laughs> However, it the, the fix is easy. So. Mm -hmm. I I have now the best belief because I've added to it. I believe water has magical healing properties. Only my bloodline can access. Oh <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh, cool. <laughs> I am the water messiah now. Okay, uh okay, we'll do how goal do I and... work with you. <laughs> I'm throwing a wrench, I'm sorry. Nah. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I guess my goal is just spread the faith of water. Yeah, my belief is this is a strange new world I've woken up in. Because I don't know what else mm. you would believe in this circumstance. <laughs> this is a horrifyingly strange world. I'm going to qualify, but that's fine. Uh, what's a good instinct for me to have? Because technically, proselytizing is my highest skill. <laughs> I should. When meeting someone new, breach the good word. Mm hmm. We have a chaplain, and they are not the most <laughs> religious. Yep. But I am starting well, my character with the religious belief. I'm just making up a name for my religious texts. I don't think they're that old, though. Religious, uh... Like, are you, 
a chaplain for all of the different sects of this religion that have sprung up, or is it just the religious I... text of these pod people ancients will show up? I'm the chaplain for all of the different religious sects because I think most of the religious sects have mostly just sprung up in Pitfall, in the major because that's where this is happening, and most of them are specific to Pitfall. In the most of the rest of the Fraud Shepherd stuff, it's pr a lot more mono-religious, and then once you get to the Holy Land of Pitfall, um, the, the, the Jerusalem, or Mecca of, of Pitfall, you get there, and then it's people are like, no, this is why it's, this. yeah. Nope, I have that. Oh, that that analogy makes so much sense why this place is so strange. <laughs> yep. I, um, I told y'all the, the story of the uh, the ladder in Jerusalem, right? No, I've not heard of this. There is a ladder outside of a, I think it's a Christian church that funnily, like, there's like three denominations of Christianity that like claim ownership of this church and they all fight about it. So, like, hundreds of years ago, they gave a Muslim family the keys because they wouldn't, they were like, hey, you're an impartial third party. You hold the keys and open the church so none of us can lock each other out. And then, Sometime during the Crusades, I think, a ladder appeared, like, on, like, some balcony area, and no one could agree whose responsibility it was to take the ladder down, so it's still there. Just because, you know... Yeah, no one could agree whose job it is, and if someone takes it down, the others are gonna get mad about it. It's okay. It lives there uh, now, it's fine. Communication. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Funny traits. I need a belief. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Uh, my have, holy text. Golden... Sorry, go ahead. My uh, holy texts are known as the Crystalline Edicts. <laughs> nice. Okay. I have solidified a goal and an instinct. I will turn a prophet in this strange place and always have something up my sleeve. But I need a better... Literally belief. or figuratively? That one's interesting. Literally. Yes. Literally. <laughs> Literally always have something up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, though, as a heads up, I think with the instinct at least, it mostly is meant to primarily get you into trouble instead of be a t double edged sword. Now, that can still totally happen with always have something up my sleeve. Yeah, like doves. Yep. Mm. It's mostly a vehicle for doves. So, yeah, according to the text, it says uh, instincts are if, then, whenever, always, or never phrases that reflect your character's prejudices, thoughtless reactions, or ingrained training. They can be invoked to ask for a test in a flashback scene when pertinent, and to break ties if they ever happen. So, it's like, if you have this, like, hey, I had a sword up my sleeve the whole time. Right? Yeah, I can then flash you flash back to, like... to the scene where I get a sword. Well, you'd flash back to try and hide the sword up your sleeve. Yeah, just, just shouting it down yep. the sleeve. Yeah, I can make this work to my advantage. And I need beliefs. I need a belief. <clears throat> um. <laughs> so, how do you? You're like this world is strange, but that's fine. I changed. Maybe... I, that seems not. That seems not active enough. Uh, well, maybe the old world wasn't half as much fun. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, it could be that, or you could lean into like you want to make a profit here. So it's my goal, though. My this goal new... is I will turn a profit in this strange place. It could be this new world is filled with suckers. <laughs> this new world is filled with suckers. <laughs> I <kinda> love that. <laughs> Yeah, like, if this world is filled with fanatical suckers, I will be a god amongst them or something. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna combine it. The old world wasn't half as much fun. It's filled with suckers. This one is filled with suckers? Yeah, this one is filled with suckers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Opportunity, in quotes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. I still need traits. 
<laughs> oh, you want to hear my traits? Mm. Uh, silver fox, well dressed, somber voiced, and curious. Mm. All right. Um. You m might want to differentiate your goal and instincts a little bit more there, Jordan. I'm not sure. What do you mean? Uh, right now, they're spread the faith of water, and when meeting someone new, preach the good word. Oh yeah, those are very they're similar. Kind so of the same, and when I'm trying to think of how to mess either of them up, uh, I can hit those buttons, but it's a little more difficult when they're so mm -hmm. Okay, um... Sage Magician Main Generator. Let me see here. <laughs> I like that instinct, so I think I'll probably change my goal. Um... What if my goal is, like, expanding the Aqueduct Guard, like, separate from my religious goals? Well, one thing Expand to keep in the mind, organization. if the central, if the, what's the word, um, inciting incident, that is new people have come out of the pods. You might want to make goals about that. That's what I'm going to be doing. Here's a, another question that might help you out here, Jordan. Um, mm. We suddenly have a stream of water since a couple of cycles ago running through the pit. Water is no longer, you know, that precious. Is the Aqueduct Guard even still relevant in this world? Have they just been guarding the Aqueduct? Like, will the Fresh Shepherds mm. let them guard anything else? What's the political situation around the Aqueduct Guard themselves? How many further are you left? That's a good question. I think... Their power has obviously waned, but I think he wants to expand from aqueduct guards to water guards. Like, they guard all water. Okay. So, would, it, would like, expand the guard be a good goal in that sense, then? Absolutely. Okay. That's something that you actively want to do. Expand uh, the guard. And then I convert them all to the water religion. <laughs> And then we have magical water powers because I think I have magical water powers. Do you? Do you have magical water powers? I, you think so? <laughs> My current belief is. Without the Crystalline Edicts, I have nothing. Straightforward. Um, my instinct is always give advice, asked for or not. Um, and my goal, I'm still working out right now. Um, it's probably going to be something like investigate these pod people around that. Um... I want to bring in the different sects of the Frost Shepherds. Ooh, you it could you could have a goal that's just mend the schism. I think I will do that then, yeah. Um or mend the fracture cuz I think I think schism implies falling into two? Yeah, at uh, least historically. Usually, and uh, by the time it's called a, sch a schism, it's probably something that is usually seen as unmendable. Um, mm. Growing conflict. But, uh, Indigo, I figured out a way to answer your does he have magical water powers question. I just try to roll magic, eventually. <laughs> we'll find out. Fair enough. There's a magic skill. We're using it for technology, but... Yeah. I mean, it could be there's, like, secret nanobots in the water that don't do anything to most people, but do affect you. Secret because you nanobot are... magic! Because yes, you're, like, you're, like, you're like... You're like... Yeah. 
Maybe you, you my were, family passed Your family has administrator, magical. yeah, DNA administrator privileges. <laughs> From the old pods? Yeah. I love that so much. <laughs> like, my bloodline has the magical nanobots in them, which allows me to do water magic. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down somewhere so don't forget. Okay. Um, Possible nanobot blood. My goal is mend the growing religious conflict within the local frost shepherd. So pretty straightforward, but I have made it that now traits. Yeah. I I am so blanked for traits because like the things that come to mind are like soldiery things, but he's like He's he's basically like not exactly like a crusader because he's not just like going in and attacking everyone, but he's like mm. he's like a warrior priest almost. Yeah. We're going very different directions with these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think they'll work. Yeah. All right. I'm going to Google character traits list. Ooh, would purpose be a good trait? Purpose? That doesn't feel yeah. like something you'd use to describe someone. I, I, I'm, tr I'm thinking of like... Driven? Yeah, like driven. That's driven, the better I think, word. is an example trait. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll, t I'll take driven. I start with... Portraits, okay. I guess I'll take driven, charismatic, and then I want like a physical trait. <laughs> My brain immediately said shredded. I don't know why. <laughs> I, uh, oddly enough, have already created things that would mess with things. Anyhow. Uh, that belongs with that person. I can't spell for the world. I have I have a word in my brain. I'm thinking of like Spartan, but like not in the sense of like from Sparta. Yeah, I'm thinking like you I know when like someone's Spartan. described as being Spartan, they're like very they don't like have a lot of like It's very minimalist. Yeah. In a harsh way. I guess like minimalist. Frugal, stringent, rigorous. Um... I may have Googled it. I also Googled it, and I got self-restrained, simple, frugal, and a, a, austere? Let me see, austere oh, might. Austere, yeah. Oh, that's actually a great one, yeah. Yeah. Austere. Uh, let me see. Oh, severe or strict in manner, attitude, or appearance. Yeah, I, I like austere. Perfect. I've chosen my four traits. They okay. are <clears throat> elegant robes, wise... Oh, our cameras are frozen. Okay, I'll fix that after. Elegant robes, wise, limping, exhausted. 
Okay. Exhausted. Well, that'll have the potential to be roleplayed. Yep, so it should work. You're exhausted, but I'm not. No, I'm I'm exhausted just because everyone keeps coming to me with about this religious conflict. Because I think my character, at least by the part, the, the Frost Shepherds that do believe in the religion, like, it's like everyone's coming to me about this fight they're having with each other, and like, trying to get me on their side, and I don't believe in any, agree with any of them really, or I'm not sure. Yeah, like, Powder believes that the mole people are our saviors, that's so strange, yep. right? And you're yep. like, I can't, ma I can't make a point. Yeah, exactly. We don't know how old the mole people are. We can't say for sure. But yeah, Limping, I think, is a good one. I think Wise can be good. Um, because that's less... I don't know how specifically Wise. I think there's part of it that's... that's He sees himself, but also everyone else sees him as that. Or at least some people do. He always wears elegant robes. Uh, yeah, you have they're... nice robes, but you're not well-dressed. <laughs> Yeah, he has robes that are different from all the other Frost Shepherds. That's like, they're literally like a symbol of his station, basically. Everywhere, if he even, if he, even yeah, exactly. That's the third. I think that's the third. I'll, right? I'll, I'll switch it to vestments because that's more uh, broad. Yeah. Here's a question: Before you became disillusioned, did you have any belief in any particular faith? Um, not of those. I don't think it was one specifically of the of the groups forming here. It was more generally like I am here to guide people and find the ancients. It was more broad. Oh, that's harder than we thought in this place. Here. Exactly. I think isn't the term vest vested if you have your vestments? I don't know. It depends on what denomination you're looking at and how high church they are. Well, vestments are just religious robes. Yes, but that's not a thing in, anyhow. Uh, many other denominations. Yeah. That's so fine. Oh, our camera's freezing more than it did before. That's frustrating. Oh, Why? Um, what it Jordan used to be do? when I... Well, it used to be... Oh, it's back now. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. It used to be whenever I specifically minimized Discord, but if I brought up another window on top of it, it was still fine. Now it's fine. Yeah, I'm looking so, now. We all look fine. Okay, then I will carefully watch it to be safe. I will Did it, let also me know. It, try and keep an eye on it. I brought up another window and then it froze, and then it's back after I switched back to OBS. Hmm. But it might yeah. just be the OBS preview that isn't working, if the stream itself is fine. Well, the when you say it freezes, it freezes on the stream, too. Like our cameras. It is freezing on the stream. Okay. Right. And I'll have to be more careful with bringing up other windows, because I was looking at, like, that's new and a bit frustrating. Oh, and my mouse disappeared. What is happening, computer? My mouse is has disappeared and won't reappear. Okay, it's back. Like, I was clicking around, it was clicking things and still not appearing. But it's back now. So, on some non-tech issues here. Uh, Indigo, first off, what is all of your guys' characters' names? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already love Indigo's character name. We're, we're kindred spirits. <laughs> the Eternal Francis Otto Libra. <laughs> Beautiful. I can approve. <laughs> oh, gingerbread! <laughs> so my character's name is uh, Cobalt Gingerbread Bubbles, as all words are related to frost. Christmas, at least in this world, would be seen as a, a winter-only thing. You know what? That is fair. I should have gone with that when I named mine. <laughs> <laughs> and bubbles are, of course, blue. They're not really blue, but... Well, they are really blue. Yeah, but they are blue. Like the blue and spirit. Have a slight blue tint. Exactly. But not blueberries. So, blueberries are purple. Gingerbread is not what, like, um, my character, yeah, is, is basically Cobalt Bubbles. His, he, he was a soldier. He got promoted to having three names with Gingerbread in the middle. But um, 
he decided to. He mostly just goes by Cobalt Bubbles. Oh, well, no, please, humbles, Chaplain Remove Bubbles. Now, did you intentionally make that as close to Cobra Bubbles as you could? I do not know who Cobra Bubbles is. <laughs> He's it's the guy. I'm just gonna give you the wiki page for him. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's from Lilo and Stitch. Oh, him! <laughs> right. No, that was not intentional. What? That's awesome. I forgot about his name. I didn't know that was his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to rewatch that movie. It's oh, very so good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that—that's my character's uh, name. I—I I am Lexus Unada Maxim. I am going to need nicknames for you all. Thank you for the eternal, the eternal no. uh, chaplain bubbles and Lexus. Cobalt. You could just call me Cobalt. <laughs> I call him Lex. Because the, the the whole thing oh, is like a stage name presentation, but Francis is like the normal shortening of. Speaking of which, or do Frank? you portray your? Your magic tricks, like, they're real, or do you say, oh, yeah, no, these are awesome things, but they are tricks? I don't know. It depends. All right. In the modern day, it might, or, or in today, it might be a bit more real. Yeah, that was one other thing I was questioning, like, has that changed in the past now? But we'll see that, I guess, as we play. I have the skills. Whether or not they come up is a different story. <laughs> Because that's Excellent. how it starts, right? You, ha I have this pile of skills, I pop out of a pod, and now it's, how do I use the skills I have to interact with this new world? And I'm not quite sure how that works yet. Yep. All right. Absolutely. So, I think I'm done. Let me bring up the gold hack and hope it didn't. Yep, our screen's froze. Hold on. Gold hack over here, then. You'll have to live with one man monitor. As... Basically, it's horrible. I, I, I don't know. know how anyone does it. I, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I, I looked up what, because uh, I looked up before what all these Latin words mean. Lexus means law, unda means wave, and I think maxim means like greatest or something. I'm trying to find that again, but like, oh, I just I tried to make greatest up the words. Call of the wave. <laughs> I yeah, was trying great. some horribly mashed together words to create the last name of Tall Rabbit and a <laughs> non function I don't know. It turned into not a unique specific you romantic know, language. Could... <laughs> Tall Rabbit. <laughs> I could also, I feel like if I just saw your name, you could also be like a Lucha Libre wrestler. <laughs> Okay. Well, the whole thing, I had gray hair by the time I started stage magicking, so it was to appeal to the fact that, yes, I'm an old, experienced magician. I know all of this kind of shit. Mm. How long have you been stage magicking? Mm -hmm. um, I don't uh, Anyone have a good, good point? I don't have, like, a solid timeline. After I stopped Ten doing years? actual... Something like that. Like, around a decade of stage magic. Okay. Ah, huh, full cycle. Yep. Decade. Two decades, somewhere in that range. It makes sense to leave it a mystery, but if you already have the answer, I'm curious. Uh, as to well, I feel like it was well, how you got put in the pod? This was my question. Well, I don't know about how we got put in the pod. We'll leave that I think, one for now. Okay. I think the last two life paths have a lot of overlap in the time the time of them being a con artist slowly morphed into being a stage magician rather than having a clear point where one stopped and the other be all right makes that makes sense I so think. has everyone actually created their character i, I think so. believe i have cuz i didn't find I a have. place to put in my machine gun or my dove coat <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, all right. I'm glad to know you have a machine gun and tough coat. <laughs> um, right. I... If it makes sense and you can argue it later and it is relevant, sure. 
It's up my sleeve. Yes. <laughs> of course. You have a machine what? gun up your sleeve. Wait, it's like a yes. 20 gun? Like a 20? Yeah, what, what kind of machine gun <laughs> is the question? We talking AK-47 or are we talking Tommy gun? Well, it, we're from a cyberpunk past. True. The grim past of the cyberpunk future. Yeah, yeah the grim past of the other right. The grim past of the cyberpunk I'm going to write that in my description so I don't forget. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that there's probably two mechanical things that we should briefly go over before we start. First off, group roles are good. Uh, you can do group roles. As before, everybody shares the consequences. If it's something that needs to be done, a.k.a. you all must stealth to get past this thing, uh, you all roll and only the worst roll counts. If it's something, yeah, that could help me, uh, you all roll and only the best roll counts. But not necessary. Uh, if it's one of you hindering the other one, they take away the number of successes from the main roll that the hindering person did. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about learning skills when it becomes applicable, but basically you need X number of failed roles and X number of successful roles in that skill. They both help you. And the last thing would probably be Fallout. This is kind of like a negative condition that I give you. As I mentioned, we kind of, we give the, uh, here's the, what happens if you fail the role. Uh, you either succeed the role, in which case, yay, you succeed. Or, if you fail, you can either A, choose to take the consequences I gave you, or B, choose to take Fallout instead. How bad that Fallout is depends by how badly you failed the roll. And then basically, uh, it has a rating, and for every other roll that that Fallout is applicable for, the ob is that amount of rating higher. So... So it's kind of like a resistance from Blades, except instead of spending stress, you take harm to resist non-harm consequences. It's kind of what it's like if it's a penalty to rolls. A little bit of a devil's choice, too, which is kind yeah. of fun. Um, do we want to go to an early break if we're ready before returning and playing? I'm good sure. with Okay, yeah. yeah. Sure. Let's do that. We'll be back in just a few minutes uh, with our first scene of the Gold Hack. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> 